Welcome to Press of the Dice Gods. And now that we've finally got rid of that pesky orc, it's time to do, well, the best conversion I've ever done. So, after we did the last flesh mower video, I had the immediate idea that that's not a flesh mower, let's do a real one. And so I had the idea that we're going to do a wood chipper and we're going to feed a space marine into or something and then it's going to go through and come out the other end. What would you classify as a better idea for a flesh mower than a wood chipper? Because let's face it, who's really going to get minced by that? No, I didn't want this flesh mower to be some futuristic thing. I wanted you to instantly recognise it just by looking at it. You'll know exactly what it is as soon as you see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a million reference photos to work from to see just how we want this to look and straight off the bat I wanted it to have a nice wide opening and I want it so that you can see straight down the middle because I've worked with this plaster card before I know that it's pretty thin I also know that if you're going to use normal poly cement on it you're going to need to put some supports in but we have some Tamiya thin and this stuff is absolutely fantastic and this the way it bonds it together is so much better than the other ones which allows us to build a box without any supports in it at all so our main support is actually going to come from the two rollers that we're going to cut to size we're going to spike up and then we're going to stick in the middle that gives us the perfect support for this box and it's very very sturdy now i did invest in a new tool to make this particular model because it was supposed to be part of a diorama and it may well still end up like that but what we've got is a tentacle maker from green stuff world and i absolutely love this thing the way it does the tentacles is just amazing now i was going to go through and show you step by step exactly how i've made this model but I'm so excited about it, I've decided to cut that short and we're going to jump straight towards painting it and then we're going to see the end model. So as you know, yellow is a horrible colour to paint with a brush. It can be a real pain in the neck. So we're going to cheat, we're going to head straight for the airbrush and we're going to start laying down that base coat because it will give us a nice solid coat to work from. We're also going to add in some darker bits just by using a darker yellow around the areas that we want. So we're going to lay down some of those base colours. Now first off we're going to do some contrast paint to do the fleshy parts because I want that to be nice and simple because I'm going to do more work on it in a bit. So the base, just a nice coat of purple. We're then going to move on to the tentacles where we're going to lay down a nice base of Gene Stealer purple along those tentacles because I think they should be purple. I know that this is a Nurgle model but still he's going to look really good. We're going to move on to laying down some silver. I got very fed up of painting green with my Death Guard army. So this guy is actually going to be painted up as the Pallid Hand, I believe it is. Because it's a different colour scheme and I quite enjoyed painting it. Now, we're going to jump straight to the end. We're going to see the model fully painted. Now, if you want to see a full step-by-step -step guide on exactly how I made this model and how I painted it up, we'll be up on our Patreon in the next couple of weeks where you'll be able to get access to it along with the discord server now i genuinely couldn't have had more fun making a model than i had with this the whole idea to the end is just absolutely amazing i love the idea that this thing when i put it down on the battlefield people are going to know exactly what it is and they're going to be scared of it because it looks cool rule of cool here you can't beat a model that looks as awesome as this one. If you have liked the video, make like our Space Marine here and destroy the like button. And if you haven't already, make like an orc and smash the subscribe button.